Hey everybody, welcome to the Pornhub. And then I introduce my man Rob. How's it going? It's going well. Glad you can make it. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. You ready to taste some whiskey? I am. Well, we got two advent calendars. One's Flaviar, one's from GiveThemBeer.com. Got them both online. We're doing a daily tasting, first through the 24th of December. And today is day 17, December 17th. And we have Jim Beam Devil's Cut. How's your eyesight? Can you see what the proof is on that one? And the answer is no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> hey, anybody have a magnifying glass? No, just kidding. But this one, day 17 out of this one, you have to go to this Flaviar secret book and look up day 17. And it's Copper Fox Rye Whiskey. Oh, 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 oh. 90 proof. So we know that about that one. And this one here has some unique stuff in it that, you know, I've never had, never heard of even. This one's kind of more generic, has some airplane bottles you can get down to the state store. You know, we can pretty much get everything in this one. But this one? Exclusive. Yeah, it's some rare stuff in there. Like So, as always, I give the guest choice of A or B. Whichever one you want to start with first. Might as well start with A. Start with A. Cheers. So sniff it. Smells like bourbon. I think. That's a little bit of malty to it. Leaning toward a scotch. Probably malted rye or something in there. It smells pretty good though. It does. Let's give it a whirl. Not sure if I was supposed to send it down the hatch, but I did. <laughs> I usually save a little to go back on, just in case. Well, we're going to have to... But... But hey, to each his own. You want to shoot them? What are you getting? You getting anything on that? Had some nice heat. It did, but not over... No. Not too much burn. Not it was too smooth. Much. Yes. A little Has smoky. A little dry finish. Very dry, yes. <clears throat> I was getting a little smoke in the middle. Interesting. It's got some good legs. So copper fox, see after after we're done, I look up since we know what they are now. And I'll put the information down below, either across the screen or I'll link it up in the description, like where to get them, what the mash bills are, how much they cost, in case anybody's interested. Both people. And I always forget this. We have some oyster crackers, you got a water there, you can cleanse your palate between. And of course, get hydrated. Because man, now we need some washing down. Woo. That was that was good though. Yeah. Even though I should have sipped it. <laughs> That's okay. So that was A. That was A. One more of these. And we'll move on to the letter B. Doesn't quite jump out in the smell like uh, uh -uh. the first one did. No, sir. It does not. It was a little bit lighter in color. I think I have a guess. Hmm. And now that I said that and I tasted that, I have no idea. Not, a, <laughs> not as smooth. 
Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Burn takes a little bit, but it's still going to be a guess, but I think I... Hmm. Me too. I thought I knew <laughs> I for a be second, a guess. but I don't know now that this is kind of throwing me a, a wrench in it. There's nothing anywhere close to sweet in mm. this one. It's almost borderline bitter. So, okay. Yeah. That kind of sways me one way. I'll, I'll let you go first. If you want to guess, give it a rip. I'm going to say that, and this is a guess, but B is the Jim Bean. Okay. Which makes A. The Copper Fox. <clears throat> okay. With an emphasis on it was a guess. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to make it interesting and go the opposite. Why go the same, right? So I'll say B was a copper fox. A was Jim Beam. Now, which one did you like better? Which one did you enjoy? I enjoyed A better than I enjoyed B. So that's your number one. That's your number two. So did I. Yeah, I liked A better. I had more going on. It was a little smoother, didn't linger quite like B did. Yeah, it was balanced, but a little bit more complex than B was kind of a punch in the face, and then that was it. So Leave you with some heat. Right, <laughs> yes. So we got our answers in, and... A has two points and B has four points. And the least amount of points is kind of like golf. The less, the better. A is the winner. So we go to the drawer of Advent Answers for day 17. And yes, I will put a drum roll in there. <laughs> of course, my lovely assistant packed these up earlier. And we shall see. We'll just go with A because that's the one we like best. <laughs> and A is, you are correct, sir. Copper Fox. Luck Excellent was, guess. Luck was on my side. <laughs> and that's the one we liked. So, like I said, I mean, we can get Devil's Cut, any state store in Pennsylvania. This one, though. I'm not sure where we would be able to find that. I don't even know where it's from, but I will look that information up and put it down below. That's worth having in the cupboard or on the shelf. It is. A lot of these that I've never heard of were like, wow, that's really good. Stuff that's obscure you never even heard of is delicious. No offense to the gym. <laughs> no. All right, brother. I appreciate you coming Thank on. Thank you very As much. As always, we'll do it again, like I said. Okay. That and was most enjoyable. In March. Okay. Pornhub Madness. <laughs> right on. <laughs>